I'm going to cover Epic number two. So, somebody that I'm real good with friends, slightly, on uh, TikTok, posted a very important question. I'm going to let the question play, and then I'm going to give you guys the reason why my TikTok responses are the way they are. Now, let, let, let me give you a little background on this question. This question is legitimately serious, so I had to let it play all the way through before I speak. So, if you found me here from TikTok, then you already got my TikTok mentioned. So, now I can go in more depth on why I answered it that way, but I will give you my TikTok answers after you hear this dude. Now, I'm not going to show his face because I don't have permission to do all that. I would like to have less problems in the world than the problems I already have. So, here we go. Hello there. This video is for everyone who owns a weapon of some sort, whether it's swords or pew pews or anything that they consider dangerous to own. No matter what country you're in, you're probably being tracked, including the phone that you're using right now. So, my question is what if one day the governing body of your country decides to confiscate all of the weapons that are out there that we all hold. You have three days to do it, or they will take it by force. Would you surrender what you have peacefully, or would you resist risking prison time or even your life? Now please don't reveal too much of your details, because you never know who's watching this. Stitch, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Okay, I couldn't stitch it, I did like it, I did comment, and I did not share. Left that off. Don't really know how to do that. However, so, what I said in my TikTok answers was I would give up my um, weapons peacefully. And that's actually here. I would give up my weapons peacefully. I only have one true weapon, and they can't take it. They can take my tools, but I am the true weapon. Now... Before anybody gets cocky, before anybody comes at me, let me break that down for you and explain some shit. One, I've been fighting since I was six years old. Before I knew martial arts, I knew what these did. I didn't have a choice. I learned how to fight through the school of hard knocks. I understand that shit. But I picked up martial arts. I learned weapons. But before I learned weapons, these weapons... Those were the weapons. Those were the only real weapons that you learn in martial arts. Block, strike, block, strike, block, strike, block, strike. Depending on what style you learn. Boom, 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 boom. You understand where I'm going. That is the one weapon. No matter what, unless someone cuts off my arm or my leg, I can't lose those weapons. This is a weapon. It is a tool. I can gladly give this up. Because in the census, this is a wooden comma. I can make another one. Because if they're going to take it, they're going to take it anyway. Why forfeit my life for something that I don't really need? If you're going to throw your life away for this or... Uh, different type of weapon, then you would be a damn fool. Which is why I said in my TikTok answers, part one and part two, weapons are tools. They are extensions of your skill level. But your true skill level, this is my lighter, comes with your hands and your feet, your forearms and your knees. And to understand how this works, you need to know what you're doing. If you do not know what you're doing, things go from bad to worse really quickly. Now a lot of people don't understand how weapons actually work. All right, Weapons are tools. The person wielding the weapon is the weapon. And if you haven't been taught that, that's something that you need to be taught. And I will go and make a video about that in a few minutes outside. But before I do that, I want to make sure you understand that something needs to be clarified with martial arts. All right. Your first one true weapon is this thing right here. Before these things can be utilized, this thing right here must be in complete control. This and this must become a team. It must learn how to work. You see me do my hands bound. You've seen me do my hands bound behind my back. No one's really come at me on those videos because the fact of the matter is, as I say in those videos, 
there will more than likely never be a chance in life where you will be handcuffed or tied with your hands behind your back and you're going to have to be dumb enough to try and fight somebody. And again, in those videos, I specifically say you are either kidnapped or handcuffed, which shows you that you can still do it while you're kidnapped or handcuffed. But it also, I state specifically, do not attempt this shit at home. If you have not had proper martial arts training, do not try this. A lot of people have never been taught how to fight with their hands bound. So why do something that you have no knowledge of doing? Just because you see me do it doesn't mean you should do it. Just because I can do it doesn't mean that you can do it. And I'm not special. But I have certain training skills that some people don't have. And I know this. So when I show that shit off, I'm just showing you that it can be done. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm saying you can't do it without being trained. There's a big difference. And as far as weapons, people have been killed for less. People have been killed for using the most powerful weapon of them all, the power of speech. So again, I will gladly give up my tools that you consider instruments of destruction. But I don't need them. I will gladly give them to you. If you try to take them by force, I will probably give them to you the hard way. Which means I will probably be using them on you. Which is not what I am about. As a martial artist, we try not to fight versus fighting. That being said, I will end this video and do a demonstration outside. Thanks for watching. This is Comfort Habit number two. Be seeing.